Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse. Look at this one. So if you put brackets around the x, you can kind of see that the 2x minus a has got two things going on with it there. It's got the first bit, because remember we go backwards on the inside of it, is that translation. So remember, if it's a mixture of both, you do inside the bracket first. So having that bracket around there is really important. So I've got a translation of A, zero. Then I've got the stretch parallel to the x-axis. How are we going to draw this? Scale factor a half because it's wrong. So that's like it's inside the bracket, so the wrong way around. And then I've got a random five, which if you think, I'm multiplying it, because it's like five lots of one over x minus a. So because it's five lots of, that's a stretch parallel to the y-axis scale factor five. Stretch parallel. This is switched on, isn't it? I'll be gutted if I find out after doing this that the, uh, the sound hasn't worked. Although I might get everything right on the next one. Right, so now I've got a scale, I've got to sketch it. Let's go then, so I've got, I'm starting off with 1 over x, and I've got the translation a0, is that right? Uh, a is just a positive number. So that gives me 1 over x minus a. Now the graph of y equals x looks like that with asymptotes at the x-axis. So if I'm moving it A, I'm moving the asymptote. So here, at x is 0 and y is 0, and my asymptotes. So I've got to track where my asymptotes go. So I'm moving the whole graph A over. So if I A was 2, I'm moving it 2 over. If A was 3, I'm moving it 3 over. So that's the best way to think about it. So my new asymptote here is x equals a. That graph is the same, but that one crosses through now. At, if I put x is equal to 0, it's minus 1 over a. There. So if I put x is equal to 0 in this equation, number 2, I get minus 1 over a. What's next now then? So I've got a stretch scale factor. Stretch parallel to the x-axis. Let's get going very soon. Scale factor a half. So if it's scale factor a half, I'm cramming twice as much graph into the same area. So that's going to move my asymptote. It's going to actually half my asymptote. Little asymptote. There. So that's x equals a half of a, because I'm plotting halfway through. So I'll put that there. Ooh, just with blue. Put that there, and that goes through there. So the equation now is y equals 1 over 2x minus a. So if x is 0, I've still got the minus 1 over a. So that's not bad, that is it? Because it's not affecting the y. Well, if half of x is 0, is still 0. Then I've got the last one, which is a stretch. You're definitely not going to like this one, are you? Parallel to the y-axis. Scale factor 5. This stuff is hard. It really, really is hard. If you're happy with it, then that's amazing. Uh, so I've not changed that other asymptote. I've not put it on, actually, have I? So I've still got this other asymptote here at y is 0. I think maybe just put, put dotted lines. You should really put dotted lines where asymptotes are. We'll do it with a tan graph, loads of trig. Could have done with like a move up by 5 instead of a multiplying by 5. Because that would have been much more interesting. So my graph now, if I put x equal to 0, it's minus 5 over a. So it's multiplied all the y values by 5. There. Enjoy that one. That's a, that's a proper my hard one. Let's hide it. Pretend we didn't see it. 
Example five. So what do we got? So it undergoes, so we start off with x squared plus 3x. So it goes 2 to the right. So that is f of x um, minus 2. Because it's the opposite way around, isn't it? So put little brackets around our x's. And I'm replacing. So the first bullet point is f of x minus 2, which is which is that. Then it says scale 3 parallel to the y-axis, so that's 3 lots of f of whatever it was. Uh, x minus 2, wasn't it? But I'm just going to put f of x for now because it's 3 lots of that. So the next one is 3 lots of f of x. Wow. Hmm. I wonder if I should have actually expanded this bit first. I'm just going to quickly expand this. f of x minus 2. So I've got... Uh, do I have a put q? Oh. Do you know, I'm rushing, I'm really, really sorry, because I'm rushing to get to go and pick my son up, I'm making errors, that's a squared. Did anybody spot that? Right, so this is x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 3x minus 6. So f of x minus 2 is x squared minus x minus 2. Second bullet point is a stretch, so it's 3 f of x minus 2. So it's 3 lots of x squared minus x minus 2. So 3 lots of f of x minus 2 is 3x squared minus 3x minus 6. Then the last one is a reflection in the x-axis. So the next one is minus 3 lots of f of x minus 2. So that's minus 3x squared minus 3x minus 6. So it is, so minus 3 lots of f x minus 2 is minus 3x squared plus 3x plus 6. Don't worry, we'll do plenty of examples. These are dead hard. See you later, bye bye.